Hey, good afternoon, good evening, fam, fam and friends. It's so good to be amongst you guys again. It's been a little while. Uh, my name is uh, Chaplain David Lee Williams. And on behalf of the Fit to Fight for Christ ministry and men of majesty family and team, I want to greet all of you, amen, and the brethren with a holy kiss from the Lord. Today is the 1st of December. And I'm so thankful and so grateful that God, by his benevolent grace and his tender mercies, have allowed me and my family to be able to cross over into this new month, which is the last month and the 12th month of 2021. Uh, if you are watching this video, then you should count yourself blessed and highly favored because God has allowed you and your family to be alive today. And uh, today is uh, what I call um, the crossover is part of being part of crossing over is part of crossing over into all that God has given us to do in the name of Jesus. And so family and friends, I want you guys to know that, amen, as we are entering into this new season, as we are entering into uh, this new level of grace and mercy that God has given us, I want you guys to just rejoice. I want you guys to be thankful. I want you guys to rejoice because God is good and he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Now today, I want to take this time uh, to just, I'm gonna not be before you long because this is more of a, an announcement than anything else, to be honest with you. Um, I'm just so excited about what God has been doing uh, in the ministry, uh, amen, and with everything that he has given us to do. Uh, you know, I'm so blessed and privileged to be um, amongst, you know, many people, amen, that share the same passion and zeal that I share. And that is first ministry first. You know, I keep going back to this particular passage is one passage that I use very often and that's coming from Matthew 6 verse 33, which says, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all of his righteousness and all these other things shall be added unto you. And I say this because for this primary reason only, family and friends, when you put God at the forefront of your life, when you... Uh, I say entering into a new, it's almost like the twilight zone. If you guys remember back in the days, I'm a generation X baby. I was born in the early seventies. Um, you remember back in the days, you know, it's been about 15 years. I think they just did a remake of the movie matrix and Morpheus. Uh, he was at this scene where he held out his hand. He had the blue pill. He had the red pill. And he says, you, you want to follow me down this rabbit hole, you know? And, and, and that's, that's just an analogy of really it is what it really means to when you walk um, um, in, into the light. Once your life is illuminated by the light of Christ, once your life is illuminated by the Holy Spirit, it's either you take the red pill or the blue pill, you know, and uh, those uh, I believe it's the, the blue pill. Those who took the, the 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 blue, those who took the red pill, they will go back to their normal life uh, like nothing ever happened. They'll be amongst the common people. But those who ventured out to take the blue the, the 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 red pill i believe it's the blue pill or whatever but what i'm trying to say is this i don't want to confuse you but what i'm trying to say is that when you as a child of god when you mature in your faith hallelujah you cross over into the land of the matrix because you cross over into this because this is a new terrain it's a, a it's a new dimension it's a new level of intimacy with god it is a new level with having a relationship with god it is a new level altogether because as paul says behold old things the old things have passed away behold be, um behold all the old things have passed away amen behold um Amen. Are the new things and the new thing that Paul is referring to in this passage is Christ. Is that um, Paul says, I consider everything dung. He says, I consider my accolades and my accomplishments. He says, I consider them all dung in comparison to the revelation of knowing who Jesus Christ is in my life. Hallelujah. And this is the same even in reference to where I am today is that everything else 
in life is is second priority. It's second nature. is It's not important anymore. And the more you 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 mature in your spirit, Amen. The more you follow the Lord, the more this will become evident in your life that you will understand that nothing else matters but the gospel. Nothing else matters but Jesus Christ. Nothing else matters. And this is where I am in my life. And it took many years for me to get to this point. But I rejoice in knowing, hallelujah, that God chose me. Out of the billions and billions of souls, amen. But 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 even it goes further than that because um even as we are growing and getting to know Christ through our sanctification process, we begin to become more like Christ. And old things in our life tend they they die off. They're no longer important. Things that were important for me five years ago, ten years ago, they're no longer important for me anymore because my mind is on christ and christ alone hallelujah and this is where i'm praying that everybody gets to that point and me i'm not there yet i'm not there yet i'm, I'm a work in progress but i strive is through daily disciplines of, of 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 reading my word meditating on the word of god praying supplication um you know even you know like i said a fasting taking time to pray with my family, taking time to pray with my, my prayer intercessory team, those who in my inner circle who I pray with, who pray for me and I pray for them. It takes all of these daily disciplines to have a closer walk with God. This is all a part of the sanctification process. And this is how we grow in the Lord. Now, I got off a subject, but I just, in my spirit, I just wanted to share that with you as we have entered into this new month of December Amen, which is the 1st of December, 2021. And as we've entered into this new month, I want to share this with you, is that we enter, as the Bible says in Psalms 100, we enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. The Bible says further on, bless his holy name. So we've entered into a new gate. This is a new door, a new month, a new beginning. Amen. And it's a month where we can celebrate and be thankful for what God has done for us, for how he has blessed us, for how he's had mercy on us and how he has spared us to be able to make it to this day. And so I want to encourage each and every one of you to just be thankful. If you made it to today, the first of December, it is not by chance. It is only by God's grace and mercy upon your life that you are here today and that you're able to listen to this post. And I hope you share it as well. But my announcement is this, guys. We have launched a, uh, a online like mini Bible school. And I say this, this is not a, a typical Bible school. Um, I'm a, uh, I'm not only an avid student, but I'm a, a, a continuing student. I'm at Christian Leaders Institute. Um, I'm part of Christian Leaders Alliance. I'm ordained as an associate chaplain, uh, a licensed chaplain with these guys. Um, I'm part of the clergy. So I'm a part of the Christian Leaders Alliance and I'm in Christian Leaders College now. Amen. Just getting ready to finish up on my degree. But, um, I'm saying this because I don't want people to misunderstand this is that this is not a typical Bible institution or Bible school. We're not trying to mimic or copy what someone else has done because there are many people and many organizations who can do it much better than we could ever imagine so. But we go back, I go back to the passage in the Bible, Matthew chapter 28. It's about the Great Commission. Jesus says before he left and descended back into heaven, he said, go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This is the Great Commission, and this is the duty and responsibility and obligation of every single Christian. So we're doing this out of the love and passion that we have for the gospel message. We are opening this Bible school. It's called the Good Shepherd Online Bible School, and we're going to be doing it through a series of Zoom, Zoom calls, Google Drive, uh, written, uh, 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 written assignments, written curriculum that I myself have taken on the part to do. It is a lot of work and I've been praying for God to give me direction on this, on this thing, on this huge undertaking. But I believe that in my heart, God has called me to do this. And so this is a online Bible school that anybody can take part of. Uh, you're not going to get any credentials in this. It's not you're not going to be recognized or anything like that. If you want uh, a record, if you want recognized credentials, I recommend that you go 
um, and, and, and become enrolled in line on the Christian Leaders Institute and Christian Leaders College. There you can get uh, international uh, uh, credentials, amen, in the faith. Is that what you're looking for? This is not like that at all. We just want to share the simple gospel message with everybody. We've started a pilot program in Pakistan. Uh, that's where we're starting at now. And then from there, we are praying that we can go into India and other developing countries uh, who may not have or may not be privy um, and have access to the gospel message like we have here in the Western world. Um, but this is what this Bible school is about. And I thank God for our local connection, our local pastor on ground, Pastor Edom Khalid out of our Pakistan city, uh, Punjab. I thank God for him and for his love and his zeal and desire for uh, sharing the gospel message with his local people there. Uh, we've been working close to close with him on these things. And we just believe God just has so much in store uh, for this uh, Bible school. So for those who want to join with us, Feel free, get in contact with us, let us know. For those who want to partnership, those who want to maybe financially uh, sponsor us, we need all the financial sponsorship in the world. Uh, like I said, we're not trying to recreate the wheel. We're not trying to build a Titanic. I'm not, most definitely not trying to build another Christian Leaders Institute. I thank God uh, for what God is uh, giving um, Professor Henry Rayanga and Dr. David Fettis and uh, Professor Steve uh, Elizanger and, and Professor Bob uh, 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 D. Cook and all the other uh, uh, Christian Leaders staff. I thank God for what the grace God has given you concerning this. This is not my plan or desire. But I just want, we just want to be able to share the gospel message with you and with all of your friends and family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I just want to thank you guys again for just taking the time to just listen, amen, to this, to this little announcement. Sorry if I kind of got off of track. That wasn't my intention, but I believe that what I said uh, was uh, very beneficial I believe in my heart that God gave me this. God gave me these words to share this with you. And I hope this encourages you. We look forward to working with you. We look forward to working with uh, uh, your families and whatever input you have, please feel free. Reach out to us uh, at Fit to Fight for Christ Ministries on Facebook. Um, like I said, um, in the bottom of this video, there will be an article, a little article, a little write up that you can contact us um, if you want to get in, get a hold of us for any reason, particular reason. And we are asking you guys to keep us in prayer. Please keep us in prayer. And I want you guys to know that we love you and that we are praying for you and your families in the wonderful mighty name of Jesus. It's your boy, Chaplain David Lee Williams on behalf of of the fit to fight for Christ and men of majesty family. I want to greet you. Amen. And leave you. Amen. With this. This means stay fit to fight for Jesus Christ. God bless you. Till next time. Bye.